We're gonna simulate a collision. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask this to slew to a target, and then I'm gonna basically put some pressure on the scope and stop mid slew, and then move backwards in the opposite direction. So if it detects that it hits something, it will stop and move back. Let's try this and let's see if it works. I'm gonna click slew. It starts slewing. I'm gonna put pressure on the mount here. And you can see that immediately it stopped and moved back in the other direction. Okay, let's try it again. Let's see here. I'm gonna put a little bit less pressure on this time. Slewing, slewing, slewing. Pressure on the mount. And it stopped right there. So if you are using this fully remotely, you can now just be sure that you're never gonna actually have a leg strike because if you get a leg strike or you hit something with it, it's just gonna stop mid slew and it does the same doing tracking, by the way. And because the servers always know where they are, even without doing any plate solving, even though we've been forcefully pushing on it, we can always ask it to just go back to its home position because the motors will always know exactly where they are because of those encoders. 